Okay, so let's start by adding some detail components to our wall section so that we have everything that we can identify. So I'm going to start at the bottom and kind of work my way up. So I'm going to zoom in on my footing here. And let's just say that I wanted to have um, some rebar in my footing. So I could just draw circles if I want to. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. So I go to annotate, I go to a detail line, and I make a circle, and I'm going to make this out of a wide line. Wide line 7. Let's try that. Oops. I'm going to make it a... Let's see. I'm going to make it a quarter inch diameter. And then to see what it's actually going to look like, I'm going to have to toggle my thick lines back on. And yeah, that line type was thick enough. So now I'm going to just copy that. Uh, one way that I can copy is just by holding down the control key on my keypad, on my, um, what do you call that thing? Keyboard. As I hover over it, hold down a control, and that'll give me a copy of it, right? So, uh, let's scoot that one over just a little bit. Okay. So now it looks like I have rebar there, right? So detail component number one, done. You put them down at the bottom of the footing because of the, the tension forces is what they're counteracting. Um, okay, so let's put a sill plate up here. Uh, we did that one the other day, but let's do it again. So that is a detail component. So component, click the drop down here, and it's dimension lumber 2x6. And I come over here, it's facing the wrong way, so I click the space bar on my keyboard, and then I put it in place. Boom, there you go. Click escape a couple of times to get out of that command. Um, I need a rim joist here, so this is a 2x10 floor system, so I need component, component, dimension lumber, 2x10, and this one, I want that orientation, so I go ahead and put that in. Click escape a couple of times to get out of that. Looks like I've got a gap there, like I didn't place it all the way at the end of my floor joist. I'm going to go ahead and toggle back off the thick lines, and yeah, I've got quite the gap there. So I select it, and I'm just going to nudge it over using the arrows on my keyboard. There you go. Looks like we have the same problem down here, so I click my 2x6 sill plate and nudge it over. So now when I turn my thick lines back on, looks a little strange right now, but it should print well. So next component, oh, next component down here, I need an anchor bolt, so detail component. Click the drop down, select a half inch diameter anchor bolt and place that about there. Click escape a couple of times to get out of that command. Working my way up, I need to have um, a sole plate at the bottom of my wall. That's the one that the studs get nailed to. And so that's a detail component. That is dimension lumber, 2 by 6 Space bar to rotate. And boom, there you go. As long as I've got that, I'm going to scroll up to the top of my wall by panning using my mouse and holding down on the roller. So I go up to the top of my wall and I place two of those 2x6s up there because I have a double top plate. Um, and then I click escape a couple of times to get out of that command. And my wall is coming along. i got some details going on. That's good. And then let's go back down to the bottom here and um, one of the things that I looked up when we were looking at crawl spaces the other day was the requirement for ventilation. So let's go ahead and insulate our floor because eventually we would have to ventilate this crawl space. So insulation is a tool all by itself on the ribbon. So I'm going to click insulation. And now you uh, can change the width of your insulation. I'm going to make mine equal to the 2 by 10, which is 9.25 inches. And then it's going to have you draw the center of that. And so what I'm doing is hovering over, let me see if I can zoom in here. I'm going to hover over this um, detail component that I put in as my rim joist. And as you hover over it, it'll pop up and give you that pink triangle when you hit the middle. Right? So I'm going to start in the middle. And then I'm going to just move it. And I'm just going to go beyond my view window. Right? So. I pull it in and it stops. I pull it beyond that line and it doesn't really matter how far I go. I can only see so much of it. So boom, there you go. 
and click escape a couple of times to get out of that one and now I have insulation in my floor let's do the same thing in the wall insulation this time it wants to be five and a half inches because that's a two by six so five and a half give the pink triangle pull that up to the top and click escape I'm good so let's see what else do I want to do I should really fix the top of this wall because that does not look right 